So Paul has decided to take it upon themselves to hunt down the Antifa rioters at Berkeley and find out who they are. And this is why. Right, you go right. Oh, you go. I'm filming you. Oh, I'm you. See this chap here with these uh, nice fashionable sunglasses and the big nose coming through now. Watch him push his way through. Oh, I fucking felt that. That is not funny. Oh, oh shit! Yep, and the guy's bleeding. So, who was that guy? Well, the chaps on 4chan decided to put their weaponized autism to use, and they think they've found him in the name of a professor called. <laughs> now, this is what he looks like. No, take note of the facial hair and the shape of his eye and color of his eyes. There apparently is the same chap. Certainly looks like it could be him. Certainly got the same sunglasses, hasn't he? Definitely got the same sort of facial structure. And then you have this picture here where he appears to have this very same facial hair, as well as the sunglasses. And apparently the bag, which he also had, which I think we've got a better picture of. There we go, yeah, the same backpack, with the same glasses, the same facial hair, and the same nose structure. And when they decide to sort of photo fit a picture of his face over, it does appear to be him. In addition to him being a complete thug who, who thinks he's something special. When he's sucker punching or like sucker hitting someone with apparently what was a bike lock inside a sock or something. He's uh, busy teaching people about ethics. That's ethical, isn't it? It's ethical to sneak up on a guy and just smack him on the head to make him bleed. I mean, that, that guy here, clearly a Nazi. Clearly, look at, the, look at this Nazi. Oh! Oh! What a Nazi. Look at him. He, he's got none of the signs and regalia of a Nazi. He doesn't seem to be hanging out with any Nazis, but he's probably a Nazi. But yeah, so he's uh, apparently teaching high schoolers how to tackle ethics. The ethics of smacking people over the head when they're not doing anything to you. Very ethical. I can see why he's a professor. He seems to know exactly what he's talking about. The funny thing is, then Paul got to digging, and so they found his OK Cupid profile. He did have a Twitter account, but he subsequently deleted it after 4chan managed to identify him. Well, 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 well. Seems like you admit you're the guilty party here. Seems like you know that people are onto you. Christy doxed me. Christy doxed me. Christy doxed me. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm just saying. Do you think that was the ethical thing to do? To just smack some kid over the fucking head with a bike lock. He uh, works at the d teaching philosophy. I imagine he's a socialist. I, I'm sure that if he, if you asked him, he'd say, of course I'm a socialist. Hell, he'd probably go even further. He teaches Introduction to Philosophy with a background in teaching ethics, critical thinking, and comparative philosophy with East and West. His primary research interests are ethics and politics. <laughs> Just, I can't, I can't contain myself. His work in political philosophy also centers on mass incarceration in the prison system. He is currently exploring restorative justice from an anti-authoritarian perspective. Yeah, I think we're starting to build up a nice profile of exactly the sort of guy who would dress up in black, go to an Antifa black block demonstration and randomly smack someone over the head who's not involved in any fights. He does of course have a Rate My Professor page, which at the moment, as you can see, is rather, rather empty. The only thing that you can see here is his class can be very confusing and kind of boring. I had trouble difficulty understanding what we were talking about, but if you try really hard and pay attention and take notes, you should be okay. A hundred people found this useful, 1,772 people did not find this useful. Hmm. 
That's because the internet decided to get to him. I have an archive here. This was brigaded badly by people from the internet, and thousands of them, who decided to go and leave these lovely reviews, which were obviously subsequently scrubbed. And what do you know, it was identified at the Antifa protest where in Berkeley, and she's standing right next to This is a specific group of agitators who are also professors who are out causing trouble. They should be stopped. They should be fired. They should be prevented from deliberately radicalizing their own students. They are dangerous. Be warned, Paul will find you. I have learned in my long history and career on the internet that these people are not to be underestimated. You cannot stop the power of weaponized autism. It's going to happen. These people live for what they're doing. They want to find you. They want to reveal you. And they will do it.